Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, I will show you how to create a word map using R. We will be using a web page to extract the text and create the word map. So let's get started. Open a new R script in R Studio. We will use these packages. If you do not have these already, then please install them first. To get our data, let me get the URL of any website. We would read this web page and then extract the text from this web page. Now, first, we would download this web page and store it as an HTML file on our computer. Next, we would read the text from this HTML file. We will store the text which we read from the HTML file into a corpus. Corpus is the main structure for managing documents in the TM package. Basically, corpus represents a collection of text. Let's convert all text into lowercase first, to avoid representing the same word multiple times. As computer will treat the words with different capitalization as two or more separate words. Making all text as lowercase will fix this problem. Next, we will remove the numbers from our words which we stored in the corpus. As we don't want our word map to have numbers like 1, 2, 3 etc. in the final output. Similarly, we can remove the punctuation marks. We will also remove any white spaces. Common English words like pronouns, adjectives, verbs etc. will also be removed. See the following URL for the complete list of words. We can also create a list of our own words which we want to remove from the corpus. We have removed all the unwanted information from our corpus now. Next step is to create a term document matrix from our corpus. We will convert this term document matrix into a regular matrix using as.matrix command. Final step in the data preparation is to sort the words based on their frequency. As we would like to show the most frequent words in our word map, the size and location of the words in our word map will depend on the frequency of the word. A word with the highest frequency means it is most important in our word map and it will appear in the center of the word map and will have the biggest font size as well. We will create a data frame which will have two columns in it. First column is word and the second column is the frequency of this word. Now is the time to assemble our word map. Word cloud command draws our word map. The most important options are the words and the frequency and we have provided our data frame columns to these two arguments. Note the other options like minimum frequency and the maximum words. There is also a rotation percentage option which will rotate some of the words in the word map. You can try different options on your own to see the results of these changes. You can also define a color palette for your word map. OK, if we run all these commands, we will get this word map. Recall that this word map is based on the text which appeared on the web page which we used. Next we will see another variation of the word map, based on the word cloud 2 package. Now, we are going to create the word map using a different package. This package is called Word Cloud 2. Simply pass the data frame D, which we create to the, the Word Cloud 2 command, and you would get a beautiful word map. I hope you found this information useful and practical. If you like this video, then please subscribe and like this video. See you in our next video.